Welcome to Network Marketing Pro. My name is Eric Worre. Have you ever thought about quitting your network marketing business? Have you ever gotten just so discouraged that you say, you know what, I don't need this. I'm gonna go back to that job. This is too, the, 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 the ups and downs are just too much. If you haven't had that experience, stick around because everyone that I know that's ever been involved in this business has had those days, have had those thoughts. Now, it's not just limited to people in network marketing. It's limited to all entrepreneurs. All entrepreneurs deal with this issue of self-doubt, of, of challenge, of difficulty, of struggle. And I don't know what it is for you. I mean, for me, I, so many things went through my mind. Maybe this isn't for me. Maybe this just isn't my thing. Maybe uh, other people are made for this. Maybe I'm not. Maybe entrepreneurs need to be born because uh, I wasn't born an entrepreneur. Maybe I just need to be realistic and just go get a job. Um, <clears throat> maybe I don't have the discipline for this. Uh, or some days when I, I would just say, you know, I would get so discouraged with people because I couldn't get people to do the actions that I was willing to do. Maybe I'm just not a good enough leader. Maybe the product isn't in, you know, valuable enough. Maybe the compensation plan doesn't pay as much as I think it should. Maybe I'm in a country or a, or a part of the world that is, you know, I feel is more resistant to network marketing than any other part of the world. You know, so because of that, I'm going to struggle or whatever. There's, there's, the list is so long when it comes to reasons to check out reasons to walk away. You miss that rank, you push for that goal, you get embarrassed, you, you fall on your face in front of your group, you go try and do a presentation, it doesn't go very well. You drive across town, you go across the country even to do a, a meeting and nobody shows up. Somebody in your company makes you feel bad or makes you feel small and because of that, you get your feelings hurt. There's so many reasons to quit. And here's my message for you this week. If you're looking for a reason to quit, they're all there. I just gave you a whole bunch of them. There's a whole menu of reasons that you can choose and no one will blame you. You can say, hey, because of this, I decided not to do it and that makes you feel better and that explains it to the world and you move on with your life. There will always be a reason to quit. But if your dream is strong enough, there will always be a reason to stay. There will always be a reason to push through. There will always be a reason to help others. Maybe it's, it's knowing that your product or service is going to be, have an impact on the world and you can't let that go. Or maybe it's you're rescuing people from desperate lives. Maybe it's taking care of those family members that, that maybe can't take care of themselves as, as well as maybe you could help them do. Maybe it's giving to the causes that are important to you. Maybe it's seeing that next person in your group, the, the, the fire light up in their eyes because of you, because you persevered, because you worked when no one else was watching, because you decided to do something um, that other people weren't willing to do. That sense of pride that you did something, that sense of pride that you went through the battle, that the sense of pride that you stood for something. That's more valuable, in my opinion, than living a life full of regrets, going through the challenge. Understand the challenge is what makes something of you. The challenge is what creates something of you. They say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I think that's true. What doesn't kill you does make you stronger. That doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. It hurts. But it makes you stronger. And I will tell you, it's the struggle for the past, since 1988, when I got involved in network marketing, it's the struggle that forced me to become the person that I am today. And I'm proud of the person that I am today. Without the struggle, if it would have been easy every single day, I wouldn't have become much. I would have been just an immature idiot running around with money versus somebody who's learned and grown and expanded and gotten better. Because even though I had those days when I wanted to quit, I found a reason to stay. I found a reason to keep going. I found a reason to work through my fears. I found a way to conquer the struggle. 
So I don't know where I find you on this day when this message finds you, but if it's fine, if it's landing on you on a particularly bad day, just understand this. There's always a reason to quit, but there's also always a reason to stay. And if you have somebody in your organization that maybe is going through a struggle, have them listen to this. Because I will tell you, network marketing isn't perfect, but it's better. And the struggle is worth it. That's our show for today. Ladies and gentlemen, my wish for all of you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional, that you decide to go pro. You decide to stay through the struggle because it is a stone cold fact that we do have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. Everybody have an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.